students here this is the answers of the homework which i gave in session 1 where you were asked to categorize few pictures which were given on the board that day as natural things and man made things so the answers are given here now you can check it with your answers which you have done in your notebook and see it now we are going to proceed with session 2 where we will be discussing about living things and non living things so i would like to explain you that living things are those things which have life in them and non living things are the things which do not have life in them when we see around us we see so many objects among them there are certain things which are having life and there are certain more which don't have life for example for example i have illustrated few here like living things animals plants fish insects birds and butterfly these comes under the category of living things non living things wood paper clothes stones ball car dog now there is a confusion why we say that these things are having life whereas they these things do not have life how can we find out that what is this life how can we uh differentiate or categorize that which things are having life and which things are not having life so here on the table you can see in this jar there is a fish this is just an example fish comes under a category of animals and this is a living thing how you can see this fish is it moving by its own and the mouth is open and uh, the fins are moving you can see it very clearly whereas here itself you can see the stone i'm keeping the stone over it and what is the difference just at one side if you find you will notice there are several differences between this fish and this stone what are these differences at first sight we can see there is a movement in this fish the difference here what we see is this stone has no movement and it is it is lying as it was kept whereas this fish is continuously in movement and we feel the changes which the fish is doing this is a very clear difference what we can see at first sight secondly like uh, children you would be feeling hungry sometimes or often okay these days you are having holidays so you want to eat so many things isn't it but have you ever seen the furnitures which are at your house ever eating no ever you have seen your sofas eating bread biscuits pizzas or anything no but we like to eat we like to drink we human beings come under the category of living thing okay i have missed the example human beings that also will be the example i have missed it comes under animals but let me write over here human being human beings means myself you yourself all we are human beings so we have we see that we all have movements and we like to eat that means we feel hungry we eat food we drink water that here you can see it very clearly now these plants i have also mentioned the plants are living thing how we consider this plant as living thing do you water your plant yes to grow the plant we used to water it that means plants also need water and we also sometimes put fertilizers and manure to the plant so that it grows well it also takes the sunlight and we know that plants can prepare their own food that will be that you will be studying in your uh, another chapter but at at present you should know this much that these plants they are able to prepare their own food and these plants 
we water them and they prepare their food in the presence of sunlight. That means these plants also eat food. So these are the few differences which we can notice at first sight. This steady. Now one more difference. Just these all differences with I am just explaining you so that you can find out the, the find out among the things what are living things and what are non-living things. Here just you see this steady. This steady if I keep here it will remain here here itself. It will not move. It doesn't eat. If I give give the teddy water, will it drink? No. Will it ever feel hungry? No. You would be having so many dolls at your home. They never eat food. So, here we see this difference. Now, uh, let us take one more example. For example, uh, you yourself, you pinch on your skin like this. Are, are you getting hurt? Of course, I am pinching and I am getting hurt. But this doll, if I pinch, no expression, it is not getting hurt. This, this is also a thing by which we can find the, we can find the difference between living thing and non-living thing. Like we all are living things so we can feel the pain. But the non-living things, they never feel the pain. Now, again there will be a confusion. Uh, that will this plant feel the pain if I pinch it? Of course, the plants have life and they also feel the pain. But we, we, all, we often we human beings, we destroy the plants thinking that what is going to happen if we pluck the flowers of, or we spoil the plants. But children, it is not true. Plants have feeling because... Um, you would have seen that when plant is there, touch me not plant. That in Hindi we call it uh, shui mui plant or uh, some, uh, some places it is also called as lajwanti plant. What is the speciality about that plant, you know? The leaves of those uh, that plant, when we touch it, it droops. Droops means the leaves gets closed. And when you leave it for some time like that, like few seconds or few minutes, again it opens up. This shows that the plant feels the touch. Then uh, also we see the sunflower plant. You, you often notice that the sunflower is always facing towards the sun. If you have not noticed yet, after my explanation, you notice it if you have in the garden or somewhere if you happen to manage to uh, observe it. So you will see that these sunflower, whichever side, we know that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. So the sun in the morning time, you will see the flower face will be towards the sun, whichever side is the east, that side. As the sun moves towards the, actually sun doesn't move, earth moves, but as we feel that the sun is now setting towards the west, the flower also turns towards the west. You can see in the picture which is given in your book, textbook. So, here in the diagram if I show you, if the sun is here and the sunflower The sunflower will be bending towards the sun. And as, just imagine this sun is now turned and moved toward this side. When the sun moves to the other side, the flower also turns towards the sun. So that means that the sunflower is having the sense of that sunlight. The sunflower can feel the sunlight. So these things, what we say, what I wanted to explain you, just in short, we will go it in we will go it in more descriptive way in our next session. But by the time you have to understand that living things, first of all, what we did, the living things. They are able to eat, they are able to feed, they are able to move. 
whereas these non living things they do not do not eat feel do not feel do not move okay then have you ever noticed this teddy bear now if it is of such size will it grow after a year when you see or many at your home uh, your table is there or you just take for example your pencil your pencil is of certain size okay now whole night you keep or after a month does the pencil become bigger no it remains of the same size whereas you have if you have a small uh, sister or brother at your home then you would have noticed that your sister and brother are growing in months or years they grow little bit you yourself were you of the same size 2 years before when you were in class 1 no you were small kids even more small kids now you are grown up and slowly in future you will grow up as your father and mother so that means that we are growing and living things grow you know when this fish when i got this fish it was a very small fish and now after 2 years this fish size you can see here now this plant also when i saw the plant initially it was very small plant and now this plant has grown into a big plant so we can say that living things can grow but this teddy is as small here and it will remain like this only it is not going to grow any more now so they do not eat feel move or grow then another thing what we can find out is when we smell okay here is a different n is missing here so human beings it's okay now one more difference is like uh okay you start you you just put your hand in front of your nose do you feel something yes of course we feel a kind of air blown on our hand the what is that air that air is coming from where that is coming out of our nose this shows that we living things we human beings and all other living things we breathe breathe means we take in oxygen and we breathe out carbon dioxide we take in we breathe in oxygen through our nose like this and breathe out through our nose carbon dioxide that is in the air that means we living things can breathe whereas non living thing this study can you see it blowing any air from its nose no they don't blow any air from the nose neither they take in any air from the nose or anywhere so this shows that non living things do not do not breathe non living things do not breathe now another difference what we uh, notice around us between living things among living things and non living thing is you would have seen the babies of all the all these things like human beings we are the children of our parents we were small babies then we grew and grew and we are becoming little elder now now plants you would have seen small baby plant and then it grows into a big tree fish small fish growing into a bigger fish insects small butterfly caterpillar and then butterfly becoming a big butterfly small lizard becoming a big lizard puppies growing into dog kittens growing into a 
cat. But is it that one day you keep a pencil in your geometry box or pencil box and then after a day when you see, do you get a baby pencil there by itself or anyway? No, we don't get a baby pencil. Okay, you, you can say that miss I am having a small size pencil or like that but it is not the baby pencil. It is the small pencil we get it, we buy it or we sharp the big pencil and make it small. But those pencil will not have a baby pencil. This, do you think this doll will have a baby doll? No. This bear will have a baby bear? No. But a real bear will have a baby bear. A cat will have a kitten. A dog has a puppy. A lion but what is the baby of a lion called? Cub. And what is the baby of a sheep called? Lame. What is the baby of a goat called? Kid. So we see that these fish, human beings, animals, butterfly, birds, they all have babies. You ha have you seen birds taking care of their babies in the nest? Very pleasant to see. It is very nice to see. They bring food and they feed their babies in the, in, uh, in the nest. So we see all these living things have their babies. That means there is a word for that that is called reproduction or reproduce. Where a living thing produces its own kind. We will discuss it further. But now you learn the term that these living beings reproduce. Whereas, again these non-living things do not reproduce. They do not reproduce. So to sum up with this, what we have noticed that living things have life. Non-living things do not have life. Living things can Eat, feel, move, grow, breathe and reproduce. Whereas non-living things do not eat, do not feel, do not grow, do not move, do not breathe and do not reproduce. I think this concept is clear. We will be discussing it in more detail. As for my explanation, here I have written the definition of living things and non-living things. You can copy it down in your notebook. I am reading it out once for you. Living things. Living things are the things which have life in them. They can eat, breathe, feed, move, grow and reproduce. Non-living things. Non-living things are the things which have no life in it. And it cannot eat, breathe, feel, move, grow and reproduce. Here is the homework for you for session 2 where you have to make a list of 10 living things and 10 non-living things from your surroundings. So you, in your notebook, you will make two columns. In one column, you will write living things. In another column, you will write non-living things. And you see around yourself in your surrounding and you make a list of various things which you think that it is, they are living things and Make a list of 10 another things from your surroundings which you think that they are non-living things. So meet you in the next session. Thank you.